Hey guys, welcome back to Lamore La Musique and to a summer skincare routine, daytime skincare routine from my bathroom. It's always fun to be shooting somewhere uh, a little bit different. So the impetus behind today's video is that I really want to talk about the relaunch of Ayuna Velo. If you don't know, this is uh, a Love More gift with purchase promotion going on on the Beauty Heroes website for the rest of this month, the month of July. So with a $125 purchase, you get a free full-size Velo, which obviously has a lot of people really interested in the product, people that liked it before, or that had issues with it before are really curious about what the relaunch is like. So I've been trying it all week. I definitely have things to say. So I'm gonna walk you through a typical daytime skincare routine for me. I never wash my face in the morning. I will splash with lukewarm water. Sometimes I'll end with some cool water splashes um, just to kind of wake my skin up. You can see that I'm a little bit red in my cheeks. I actually did, for the purposes of this video, just wash my face because I had makeup on. So that's why I look a little bit flushed. I would say this summer my skin has been pretty normal. Uh, I don't ever really get oily. It's maybe a little more sensitive. I just think that over time and maybe also with what I do, trying so many products, my skin just gets sensitive sometimes. Um, but overall, it's been fine this summer. So after the warm water splashes, I typically have been going in with a water-based serum of some sort. So typically not toner right away, but this is kind of the layering routine that I've been doing. So there's a couple options, and I'm actually not gonna use any of them today because of some specific issues with Velo. But what I have been testing Velo with is some combination of Monastery Aloe, which is a hyaluronic acid serum, smells sort of of lavender rose, really refreshing and beautiful. I like this AM or PM, but it's a really nice way. If I wake up really dry, I like to go for this. Then I like to toggle one day one, one next day the other between Earthwise Ambrosia Ducerato Liquid Moisturizer and Haute C by Lil Fox. They serve kind of the same function in a daytime skincare routine for me, which is essentially as skin protection vitamin C. It, explicitly vitamin C in the Lil Fox Haute C because it has Tetra C, which is a synthetic form of vitamin C that doesn't seem to destroy my skin. I did a whole review of this, the June and July Beauty Heroes boxes, which I'll link for you. And then Ambrosia du Cerato, it's described as a brightening face serum. It's an aloe-based serum with some very light oils, no essential oils though, and I consider this to be like the natural kind of skin brightening without a synthetic vitamin C in it. So it kind of serves the same purpose, just a different means to achieve that, comparable to something like Blue Alchemy Multi-C, which is also based on naturally occurring skin brightening extracts and not a synthetic form of vitamin C. Although I feel like a lot of brands are starting to use Tetra C because it's much more well tolerated than previous forms of vitamin C that have been in skincare. I've also been using the Pi Instant Calm Redness Serum with Sea Aster and Wild Oat. Sometimes I'll start my skincare routine off with just a really even less than this. This is actually too much. I'll take a little bit of this and I'll just apply to the nose and cheek area and then I'll apply one of the other serums kind of all around my face. However, I'm not gonna do any of those things today because I have been having some pilling issues with Ayuna Velo. We're gonna see today if those are indeed the culprit because I'm just gonna use a face oil today. So I wanna try something new. I just got this in the mail and have hand tested it on my hand. It's probably a little bit more appropriate for PM. It's labeled a gua sha facial oil, but I'm dying to try this on my skin just based on how it smells. So this is the Pink Moon Over the Moon Gua Sha Facial Oil. It's sunflower and moringa seed oils uh, with neroli, rose, palmarosa, and sandalwood. Um, it smells insane, and I just really wanna use it on my skin. So I'm gonna do a small amount, like four drops, pressed in, and I'm gonna apply some toner over this, and this is just gonna be my first step before we go in with Velo. 
I'll be doing some more upcoming content on Pink Moon. They're a newly launched online boutique. They have been operating as a beauty brand consultancy for a number of years now. I actually have met the person behind it, Lynn Chen. I met her when she was working for Bottega Organica some years ago now, like maybe five years ago. We met at an Indie Beauty Expo and she's really sweet, really kind, really warm hearted. So I'm happy to be affiliated with Pink Moon. I'm gonna be doing some more content around them because I am partnering with them along with some other bloggers who have uh, chosen charities of choice, nonprofits, foundations, um, through which if you shop through Pink Moon and use that blogger's code, 10% of your order will be donated to their uh, cause of choice. So I'm gonna do, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, this is really nice by the way, I'm gonna place a pink moon order. I'm gonna pick up a couple things that I've been eyeing and um, do a video around that and then let you know more about the charity that I selected, which is the License Center out of Cornell University in honor of my late father, who was a rural sociologist, did a lot of work around civic agriculture and sustainable local food systems. So I'm looking forward to sharing more on that in a future video. Um, but for now, that's a really nice um, amount of face oil. And now I'm gonna top with a toner. I do unconventional skincare layering. And if you wanna hear about that, I did a whole podcast episode on my skincare philosophy. I believe it's episode six. So I talk about the skincare layering, which I learned about through Infiore's skincare education. So I've been using a couple of different toners. I'm almost done with a sample of the H's for Love pollen. I don't, I think it might be done. I've liked it quite a bit. I really like the Bathing Culture Golden Hour Hydrosol, which was a past Beauty Heroes sidekick. This is what I'm gonna use today. Also because I think it's a beautiful complement to these Pink Moon Beauty Drops. So my skin feels really nice, very nicely prepped. Um, for eye product, I'm trying to use up a sample of the Biasance Squalane and Peptide Eye Gel, which is what I think I'm going to use right now. I just finished up my Infiore V Clair Supreme, and I... I'm still using the Blue Alchemy Eye Oil Serum, which I love, and then I'm gonna be newly incorporating the Earthwise Passion Eye Serum. Okay, so what I've heard now from some people who have also been, you know, maybe having some issues with Velo in terms of pilling, which to be honest with you, I don't remember having with the first generation, but the last couple mornings that I have used this, layering it over some of these water-based aloe serums I have been getting pilling. So ideally, if you're someone that can wait between doing your skincare and applying this, that's probably ideal and would help mitigate the pilling. I unfortunately have 20 minutes tops to get ready in the morning, which includes contacts, teeth brushing, skincare, uh, getting dressed, and any kind of makeup I wanna put on. So I don't have time to wait essentially. So the sunscreen has to go on right away. So this is the last step in a skincare routine. And I went on Beauty Heroes Instagram page. If you go to where their IGTVs are, they reposted a live that Jeannie did with Begonia, who's one of the co-founders of Iuna. And it's wonderful to watch if you want more information. I learned quite a bit about the emulsion science behind this, as well as the proper amount. They talked quite a bit towards the end about the facial, another product in Iuna's line, which is a pre and probiotic acid toner type of product. I had tried it in the past, but listening to them talk about it made me want to retry it. I've always steered clear of products like that. I don't know, hearing founders talk about their own products always makes me view products in a different light. And then at the very end, they talked about Dojo, the new fragrance from Iuna. So I highly recommend going to watch it if you have a spare hour. Um, it's really illuminating, but I'll tell you the high points of what I learned. As far as the proper amount, you want to put two lines worth of product from basically like your knuckle to the tip of your finger on your index finger and your middle finger. And my lines tend to get less towards the tip of my finger. So that's like their guide for the amount of product that you wanna use. Now importantly, 
Begonia said that it's important to kind of pre-work the product like this. Because of the emulsion science behind the product, most face creams that you use are what's called an oil in water emulsion. It gives you that kind of lightweight uh, but moisturized creamy feel on the skin. However, their product, I'm gonna go ahead and start applying, their product, Velo, is I believe a water in oil emulsion initially, but it transforms to the reverse when you work it, I believe. I could be mixing that up, but that is my impression after watching their video and having a very cursory understanding of cosmetics formulation. <laughs> So I would say it has a very, um, I, am I getting pilling? I can't tell yet. Um, it has a very, very silicone-y feel for sure. It is blending in really, really nicely. And I am finding the pilling to be more manageable just over top of face oil. Now the problem is that I look really glowy and really, really dewy, which is fine for me because I personally love this finish on my skin. I mean, I may, I keep a little thing of powder down here. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I may go ahead and powder down just sort of the center of my face. But if you hear Jeannie Jarno talk about this product, it's really one of her personal holy grails and she really doesn't feel the need to wear any makeup with it. And I mean, I agree. I think the finish is really wonderful. Um, I'm just saying the only issues that I'm having are a little bit of pilling and it doesn't even necessarily seem um, related to the products underneath because even just with a little bit of oil, I'm getting some pilling. So I've gotten some questions as well about the color matching because as you saw, um, it is kind of a medium tone color. So the question has been, what would this be like on darker skin tones? So Begonia and Jeannie did address this in their um, Instagram live. And the tip given was if you are of a dark, darker skin tone, I mean, I find this to be really quite self-correcting. I'm around an NC20, and I think you could probably go all the way up to an NC or an NW35 and be good. If you're very, very fair or darker skin toned, you may want to keep a foundation around and just add a bit of your foundation in to color correct it even further. So that's been the tip given. And when I rub this into the back of my hand, it's really quite seamless. So something about the pilling is making me think that I'm either not working it enough prior to putting it on my face or that it really needs to be applied over like not a lot of other skincare. You know, I think most of us do want to use our serums underneath a product like this. I do think that it's absolutely possible um, and the pilling is not terrible. I will say that I, I tend to not ever have pilling issues. In the past, I've only had them when trying to work a hyaluronic acid product into a cream that's been formulated in a very, very eco or clean way. Um, there tends to be some interaction between the hyaluronic acid and whatever the binders are in these. I don't know, it's kind of an open question. I'd be really curious to hear what some of you have to say. This product does have a very high mineral content. Um, it, I even describes it as a super six in one super stratum protection. So not only is it an unofficially rated SPF, um, they decided not to pursue official SPF rating, but I believe unofficially it's rated around an SPF 28. Um, it's also protection against environmental pollutants, which don't have a prominent part of the skin protection conversation yet, but I think increasingly they are having more of a prominent seat in what it means to protect our skin during the day in whatever environment we're in. So that's kind of the deal. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I was gonna say. I mean, as you can see, it's a very simple skincare routine. I just basically did oil, toner, a tiny bit of eye product in this. It definitely is a dewy finish. I would consider it comparably finished to something like my Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Repair CC Cream or Suntegrity. 
very similar in finish. Um, a more matte finish would be something like the Blissoma Photonic or the Farizad Sun Veil Reflector from Earthwise mixed with an oil. These both give a little bit more of a matte finish. The packaging I think is a definite improvement. As you can see, it's a much smaller size, but it's the same amount of product. It's 1.6 fluid ounces, which is the same amount that was in the previous packaging, and the packaging is so much more streamlined, so I think that that is really impressive. I definitely feel wonderful about using this on my skin. I'm gonna use this whole thing up, and I'm really, I'm, I'm happy that they are a brand that is so attuned to what consumers are saying about the product, and I, they just, are very, very thoughtful in design and execution of the product. And yeah, I just know a lot of you have been interested in this. So I was happy to share a little bit more about my experience and what a daytime skincare routine for me looks like. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed hanging out in my bathroom. I would love to do like a skincare tour again soon because the last, I think the last skincare video I did was probably I don't know, maybe four months ago at this point, and I just feel like things are so radically different now. Not radically, but I'm testing a lot of Earthwise. I have been trying some new brands. I have some new face creams that I've really been liking this summer. So we'll see. If you're interested, let me know. I could maybe do a nighttime skincare routine or just a skincare uh, tour of my current uh, collection, like the heavy rotation stuff. If you're looking for more, a little more content, I do a lot of work over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Lamore La Musique exclusive podcast episode, extra video every month, individualized Q and A's, Live Get Ready With Me's every Friday morning and Astrology of Beauty readings are also available. I release new episodes of my podcast, Your Purpose is Beauty, every Monday. You can stream it on my website, lamorelamusic.com, where it's available in all major podcast players, Apple, Stitcher, Spotify, Pandora, Pocket Casts. If it's not on your favorite podcast player, please let me know so that I can submit it and have it available for you. So wonderful to chat with you guys. I hope you're having a really nice Sunday. And hopefully, if I have time and wherewithal, I will see you here next Sunday. Bye.